Hi there everyone, my name is Helenique Argeru and I'm a clinical psychologist on my way, on the move, to a drum therapy project at a school here in Nicosia. I want to talk to you today about manipulators, people who, uh, beyond all good intent, may actually be destructive or toxic in your life. And I'm going to give you three tips on how to watch out for them and how to protect yourself from them and also for you to uh, know that I'm not judging anything in this discussion I'm just letting you know that boundaries are really important and certain behaviors cross certain boundaries and it's good then for you to assess whether this person is perhaps toxic or destructive for you uh, tip number one is it's really important to watch out for people that are quite uh, complimentary adoring devoted admiring of you but not necessarily following up with action in that that the actions don't really match up with their words. So that's one sign that you might actually be dealing with someone that's perhaps not so secure or not so confident about themselves and might even find you a little threatening. So they create uh, a kind of air around you to let you know that you are wonderful as a way of trying to protect themselves from you. And this might be a kind of um, destructive uh, relationship for you. Uh, it will be up to you to assess that but just watch out for that behavior and think more wisely about it and about how you're going to interact with that person if that is indeed what they are showcasing and i'm talking about someone who's an equal to you someone who's um perhaps sort of puffing you up yeah not um if it's warranted that you are respected maybe as a teacher by a student for example so tip number two is to take very seriously anybody who cuts you off in life right so you've got some um, reasons why it's important to take space from relationships but you want to watch out for people that are actually being uh, quite um, harsh in the way that they create space with you so they might cut you off telephonically they might cut you off personally um, and kind of threaten different things uh, and they might really need another kind of response from you but really essentially you have to assess again whether you want to respond in this different way whether it's warranted and or whether you might just be manipulated in this behavior the third thing you want to do is take um, a deeper look at the way that you yourself are not putting down boundaries in your life so you want to be a little bit more clear on what behavior you're willing to tolerate how you really prefer to be treated and without being a narcissist or um, a lady Godiva like we used to say when I was smaller um, try to find out really what it is that you are a most nourished by in relationships and try to provide that in the relationship and look out for people that can provide that to you too and then bond and become intimate with them uh, with other people that you feel are not nourishing you in that way you want to just cut 